Video 4. Content on the Jumpstart Server In this video session, we will be learning what types of content the Jumpstart Server is able to display as well as how to get the content onto the server and add it to the Jumpstart client. Jumpstart can display windows with full motion video files, pictures, input channels, color and text content as well as application. For videos, pictures, applications, and input channels, you will need to add the source content to Jumpstart before you can add them to a scenario. The items you can add to a scenario are shown in the content panel to the left of the canvas. For more information on what scenarios are and how to create them, please refer to Video 5. The following video formats are supported. .mov, .avi, .wmv, .mp4, .mpg, and .mpeg. The following image formats are supported. .png, .gif, .jpeg, .jpg, .tiff, .tif, and .bmp. Although limitations are provided using standard VESA resolutions, a wide range of non-standard resolutions, common with microtiles, are also supported within the equivalent bandwidth. Jumpstart can play back many different kinds of content in a schedule. Pictures, videos, color or text windows, software applications, and live input. A single scenario can contain up to 60 media windows, and each media window can have up to 3,000 media objects scheduled at different times within it. However, the amount of content which may be played back simultaneously is a factor of the computer's bandwidth and processing power. Note that these limits apply to displaying each type of content alone, video, or images. If you want to display several videos and image content simultaneously, or run additional applications, performance may degrade before you reach these limits. When adding video and picture content to Jumpstart, it is recommended that you store the content on the hard drive of the Jumpstart server. You can store content on a remote hard drive or network location, but the device must always remain accessible when playing scenarios. You can transfer media files onto the Jumpstart server with a USB flash drive, portable hard drive, or network share. Choose a location to store the media that will be easy to find and remember, such as the video's library location in Windows. Once you have content on the Jumpstart server hard drive or another accessible location, you can add that content to Jumpstart. Before we are able to add content and start using it with Jumpstart, we must connect to the Jumpstart server. To do this, simply open the Jumpstart client, click File, then Manage, click Add, enter a name and IP address or host name and click OK. Click the appropriate tab in the content panel on the left and then click the Add button to add content to that specific category. If you can't connect to the Jumpstart server using the Jumpstart client software, try the following. Check the network connectivity. Ensure the media server backend software is running. Ensure the web server service is running. Across the top of the Jumpstart client, you see the toolbar which contains buttons for commonly performed tasks. The content panel is on the left. This contains the content that you can add to your scenario. The canvas is in the middle. This is a visual representation of your display wall. The canvas is where you can add, manipulate, and arrange the content windows. Along the bottom is your schedule. This is where you set the sequence and playback duration of each window. Any applications that you add to Jumpstart must be installed on the Jumpstart server. Click the Applications panel in the left pane and then click Add. Specify which applications are removed and added. To create customized color and text boxes to show in a scenario, click the appropriate panel and then click Add. To view the input channels that you have attached to the Jumpstart server, click the Input Channels panel. Note, input cards are an option and may not be included with all Jumpstart servers. You can also create serial commands that can be added to scenarios and executed when a scenario is activated.
This concludes this session on adding content to the Jumpstart server and Jumpstart client. In the next session, we will explore what scenarios are and how they can be used and how to create them using the Jumpstart client software. Thank you.